Joining us now to discuss what's to come is Josh Blackman. He is a constitutional law professor at the South Texas College of Law in Houston, Texas. Thank you so much for being with us. This House trial brief being submitted today, we know the two charges laid out against Trump are abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. What else can we expect to see? Well, I think we'll see two things. First, I think the lawyers will point out that they've not alleged there's any violation of any sort of criminal law, that these are basically political crimes. And I think they'll argue that these sort of political crimes are not proper for impeachment. The second type of argument I think they'll, they'll express is that impeaching the president for these sorts of political crimes can set a bad precedent and lead to many more impeachments in partisan incidents for the future. So Trump made some news uh, himself with the addition of these noteworthy lawyers to his team. One, Ken Starr, who headed the investigation into the Clinton administration that led to Clinton's impeachment, and Alan Dershowitz, who has defended O.J. Simpson and Jeffrey Epstein. What would you say, if you were going to guess, what, what would you say their strategy is going to be? Well, I think Trump picked these lawyers for a specific reason. First, Ken Starr is very familiar with the impeachment process. He worked through with Clinton. Um, second, Dershowitz is a Harvard law professor who's been at the center of every major controversy. Uh, though Dershowitz is a Democrat, he's become one of the president's biggest defenders on cable news. Uh, so I think this will be uh, a very a bit of a spectacle, if you will. And they will make the point that these sorts of impeachments are very misguided and can set a dangerous precedent. Both sides have something to lose here. This obviously isn't going to make Donald Trump look good. And Democrats, some of them in the Senate, are losing very valuable presidential campaign time. Do you think it's possible for a quote unquote winner to emerge out of this process? You know, I think everyone loses here. Um, there is almost zero chance President Trump is removed from office. And even if he is, we have President Pence at that point. Um, I think ultimately the Democrats will feel unsatisfied that their uh, impeachment was not successful. I think Republicans will feel uh, cheated that this is still litigating over the last election. And I think people in the middle will see this as a waste of time. Um, it's unfortunate because impeachment is an important process in our constitutional order, but this, this will not leave anyone satisfied. I think everyone will be unhappy with what goes on here. So if barring some sort of unforeseen evidence or event, Democrats already know that Trump's not going to be removed, uh, what do you see as their goal here? Um, I think they believe that when there's a, a violation of the Constitution, a violation of the oath of office, <clears throat> there's an obligation to uh, impeach the president. Um, I think they also see political gain and that uh, this process can be used to highlight misdeeds of the president and perhaps weaken him. Uh, for the next presidential election. So if Trump's going to sail to acquittal, do you think that this is going to help him win another term in office? Is it going to basically, is he going to feel vindicated? Oh, I don't know. I've long ago stopped making predictions, so I have no idea what will happen. Uh, but I think in some regards, uh, uh, the impeachment could help him politically because people can see the Democrats as focusing on this, this trial to nowhere rather than trying to govern. Uh, and I think it, 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 could, it could go to Trump's benefit, ultimately. Josh Blackman from the South Texas College of Law, thank you so much for your time and analysis. Thank you so much.